If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. Today we are going to start looking at filament. The projects I have on my channel start with this type of preview episode where we take a quick walk through what we will be building and what kind of functionality we will have for you to expect. As we proceed through the series, I will point out pros and cons that I think will help you decide for what kind of projects this admin panel would be good. There's a lot of potential with this admin panel, but there are also some limitations to be aware of. To start us off, we have a dashboard. We have different information on it. This is pretty much dummy information, but I did add user information to this chart right here. So you can see when the users joined, how many in September, how many in January, how many in August, and you can do all different kinds of customizations to this, which is absolutely fine. Filament has suggested to use Spady's Laravel roles and permissions to set up roles and permissions. And that's what I've done for this project. But I do think that potentially any one of them, even if it's Laratrust or anything like that, they would all work pretty much the same. At any rate, the first thing that I did was I set up permissions. One more thing too, this is a little bit of a drop down here. So you can click it, close it up, open it up. That's a little hidden feature. And there's just a lot of unique little things that you can do here. So the first thing we have is a list of permissions and we have their created at date. You can edit, you can delete, and it's also paginated. That's already come included with the setup. You also have search. So let's say I want to do read anything that I have with the name read that comes up in our search. And then you can X out of that, get rid of it altogether. And then we can go ahead and create a new permission. And instead of using a page to create the permission, I just set up a modal. So let's say test category went ahead and click create so it's been created up here if we go all the way to the end you see that we have the test category in here and if you open it up then we have the same modal where you can edit it as well the next thing we have our roles and i created some dummy roles so you have a super admin admin moderator developer and we also have user now i've set it up so that the roles have permissions and the users have roles if we go ahead and open up any one of them well actually let's go ahead and create one now this is a little bit different to the model we have and that's because i just wanted to show you different ways of doing it so let's go ahead and just fill this in and we can add any one of the relationships that we want as many as we want this is a multiple select because the relationship is belongs to many so let's go ahead and create it's been created and if we take a look here malik luna is the name of the role not the user the name of the role and we have it's created at date so if we go ahead and open it up again you see that we have the permissions included and if you look down here we have the permissions that are attached to that role and if we wanted to create a new permission we could do that here as well new permission And that has now been created. Fantastic. The next thing I want to do is take a look at the users that we have here. And as you can see, we have, these are the names, super admin, admin, moderator, developer. I named the roles for those admins. I've named them the same as a user name. That's what I did for the admins. But as you can see for the users, this is the user name and this is the name of the user role the role name is user i hope that's not too confusing some of the other admin panel projects it seemed to be a little bit of a confusion for some people but it's super simple you can name these whatever you want to name them too but these are the name of the roles i just did it so that i would remember what they were for now one of the cool things that i found too is that there is a boolean field for the tables where you can add any kind of boolean you want for us i added is admin to the users table we have a true value here and a false value here because these are not admins. One of the other things I did too was added soft deletes. So we do have that here as well. Let's go ahead and test this out. We'll go to, we also have search functionality in here like we did with the roles and permissions. But if we go to new users, we'll go ahead and create a new user. We won't make this one an admin. We have an email, password is password. These are the roles. I put here helper text. So this is one of the issues that I ran into to say only choose one. So I'm going to go ahead. We'll give it the name, the role name of our new role that we just made. And then I'll get rid of the other ones. Then we'll click create because remember the roles are already attached to the permissions. So we're just giving roles to users. Let's go all the way down to the end. And this is our new user. Okay, and they are not an admin. This is their role name. This is their email. And we don't have any deleted yet functionality, but let's go ahead and delete. Are you sure you want to delete this? We'll say delete, but we already know that it's a soft delete. So we're going to go back to that user and see now that user is gone, 
but we have a little filter icon here. Right now we're displaying it without deleted records, but if we add with deleted records, that changes up the whole table. Let's go over to the end, and now you see we have that user that we just deleted, and we have the deleted at date and time for that. I'll change up the formatting of this, but as you can see, they are deleted. We can also change the filter to only deleted records. Now we're seeing the user that we just deleted. Now that we've taken the walkthrough, the schedule for this project will be, as always, I will publish the videos on Mondays. If I'm physically able to do it, then I will try to do it a second day a week. I cannot guarantee that, but I will make sure that you have videos on Mondays. If you're enjoying the content, please go ahead and click that like button as it really does help out the channel. Here's a video YouTube thinks you'll like, and here's a playlist to follow along. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.